Hey, how's it going on, guys? So it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. And yeah, it's pretty chilly out. But I'm on my way over to the store. Get some things and I need some snacks for school. And I figured, what the hell, I'll vlog as I walk. Because other than cars, there's nobody really else out. This time of the morning, that is. So, not that I have a problem vlogging in public. I don't. It doesn't really bother me. You know, people, for the most part, kind of just stare at you and go on their way. They don't really bother with, you know, the fuck's the guy doing with the camera? So, I think later I'm going to go through a list of uh, words that we use in our language, uh, abbreviations if you will, like lol, or lmao, uh, words like that because I found a list online in my search of useless tidbits of information this morning um, of ones that I never even really knew existed. Uh, <laughs> there were some where I was like, is that even possible? People use that? Because you remember the old days where you were in a chat room and it was like ASL, right? Or, uh, that was the big one I always remember people asking you. Never asked you for your name, just ASL. Anyways, I will see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm here in the cereal aisle, trying to find a cereal. Cereal. But seriously? Okay, Frosted Flakes, right? They're great. Six dollars and forty-seven cents for a six hundred and eighty gram bag. That is just freaking retardedly expensive. Holy crap! I don't know what to get. What's your favorite cereal? Leave a comment down below. So old manage with this hat on. That's what I'm gonna be like when I'm old, old and decrepit. I'll have this hat on. I just sit there and. Stew in my wheelchair and yum yum snappers. That's what I'll do. Anyways, just drop Xander off, and uh, he's really enjoying the preschool, which is good because I don't know what I'd do if he didn't like it. The first couple of times he threw temper tantrums, but now it's all about let's get there so I can go play now. So I'm gonna go home and clean up and just enjoy stuff going on YouTube, Crazy Dad here. Welcome back again to the Crazy Family Show. Today you're in the kitchen with moi. In case you don't understand French, then with me. Today we are doing one of my personal family favorites, Double Decker Fudge. I think it was given to my mom by one of my aunts or something. Anyways, you're going to need four and a half cups of sugar, uh, one seven ounce jar of marshmallow cream, or in this case 24 marshmallows, uh, you will also need one and a half cups of evaporated milk, not condensed milk. It's evaporated milk. Uh, also, uh, half a cup of margarine to start off with. Uh, did I say four and a half cups of sugar? I think I did, yes. That's the beginning. And basically, you're just going to... Uh, oh, I'm too close. I'm too close. You're basically going to let it boil. And just stir it every once in a while. The marshmallows and all that will disintegrate after a while and get soft and everything and get into the mixture. Uh, I'm telling you guys right now, this is super, super rich. It don't make you a fatty, but it's super yummy. Um, I made it one year and I think it lasted maybe, oh, I don't know, a week in the house. <laughs> So basically, you bring that to a boil, and then, uh, sorry, I got my instructions here. Then, I can't read here apparently, uh, boil, boil gently, stirring frequently for about five minutes. Once that's uh, originally come to a boil, then you'll stir it another for another five minutes. Then you want to divide the mixture in half, uh, which is about three cups. So if you're not on if you're not on the Canadian measuring system or the United States measuring system, I can't help you. I don't know ounces and sleeves and envelopes and all that other crap. I'm not. I just know cups and and half teaspoons and tablespoons and all that other stuff. So I'm no Chef Ramsay. So I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. 
just to speed up the process. And uh, it's it's really yummy. It's uh, chocolate and then butterscotch chips on the bottom. And you know, depending on the size that you cut, but you're looking at probably about about that about that, that something like that. Okay, so then you separate the mixture with one six ounce. I know I just didn't say ounces, but one, one package of uh, butterscotch chips and basically all I did was fill up the package again with chocolate chips to, set, to get it equal. And then you do three cups each. Hello again. Okay, so it's three in the morning now, break time, um, and I didn't get to finish up with the recipe. But basically once you guys have um, put the mixtures together, uh, half it off, three cups of each, of the mixture and then added the chocolate chips and the butterscotch chips and mix those all together. You basically put the chocolate down in the pan and then uh, put the butterscotch on top of it and let it set. Just put it in the fridge and leave it overnight if you want just to set. But once you're done, that is the finished product. And you're going, oh my god, you ate all that? No. But basically, as you can see, it's two layers. And it is very, very yummy. We've already uh, cut some pieces out. I'm going to cut the rest out later and package it all up and stuff. So that's basically double decker fudge. You want a 9x13 pan. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. It was almost coming over the edges. But 9x13 pan should be fine. Grease it all up with some butter. Um, you want to try to avoid using margarine. I find the butter makes it taste a lot richer. A lot. Not, that, not that there's not enough sugar in it already. But the butter makes it taste good. So... Alright guys, in the meantime and in between time, I am the Crazy Dad. Stay crazy, my friends. And maybe I'll do some more cooking tomorrow. Baking, I should say. Stay crazy, my friends. See you later.